day six is gonna be a little bit weird. Just gonna warn you right now. It's gonna be a little bit weird. Um, we begin the day, we spent the night on the ferry coming from Sicily up to Naples and climbed at, up to Mount Vesuvius. So you're gonna see first stuff on the ferry, then you're gonna see Mount Vesuvius. Probably almost killed myself trying to get up there. Climbing mountains and running are not my thing. Um, you know, because I like breathing. Um, after that, though, we did go to... Uh, I have to look at where we were. It's hard to say these names of things. We went to... Avernus? There's um, a crater that's been over time been turned into a lake. Um, at first we just looked over that and then later the night we went back to it and that's where everything goes crazy and weird. Um, the next place we went to was the site of Kume. Um, I'm not sure that I said the site name in the video, but now you know it's Kume and that is where the Oracle of the Sibyl was. And I, don't, I think you can call him an Oracle or interpreter, I don't know. It explains what the Sybil was, and if you don't already know that, because it's usually pretty well known, if you don't know that, it's explained in the video. So I'm just going to keep going with the sites. Um, we also went to the, oh god, names, and Amphitheater Flavio Neronio? Neriano? I don't know. It's um, one of the amphitheaters you're actually allowed to go under. So we get to walk, we were walking around um, in the theater, but we also went under and you can see all of the rooms in there, how pillars are set up to hold weight or to fashion little rooms for holding animal people, whatever. Um, so I, it was really cool in there. Um, It'll probably be a little bit dark, just because there's not a whole lot of light down there. They did have a central area that had grating so that sunlight could come in, but fair warning, might be a little bit dark. Um, after that, we went back to the crater lake at Avernus, and that's where things get crazy, and I'm just going to let you, you can just see that. I'm just not even going to tell you. Just There it is. Well, all right, here, uh, here's this video. That is Mount Vesuvius. We followed along the tail, Pompeii's down over there. Keep going, beautiful morning. Down over there, the island. That is the island of Capri. the eruption. And so that last video was cut short because there was a an Italian man looking out the window where I was taking the video. You might have seen him in the background for all I know. I don't know. He's looking out the little window. Um, and he came out and asked if I wanted to take my picture. And I've already got pictures and stuff this morning, so I was like, no, that's all right. I'm pretty sure he doesn't speak English like most of the other Italians that we've talked to. So a little bit awkward, and I cut it short. So if it seems really, like, ended quickly when I was still speaking, it's because someone else was speaking to me, and I didn't know what he was saying, and he clearly didn't have any idea what I was saying. So that was an interesting morning. Um, now we're in the cabin, just before going to the car, um, and driving off this thing, it's going to be a crazy mess because fairies are chaos. But here's our room, and there's the door in the bathroom, Megan's chilling here with me, because we're roomies. We've got a cool view of, you can't even see it, 
Well, there's the water. Oh, there we go. A little bit of land on the other side. Vesuvius and the Isle of Capri are on the other side of the ship. So that's where I was this morning. Floor. So we're climbing Mount Vesuvius. I'm basically dead. Uh, the lungs aren't happy right now. My calves are not right. Um, but we're kind of at the really big crater on top of the larger remaining side of the crater. Um, and it's steaming and it smells like sulfur. So, uh, I'm just gonna give you a little look. The white. <clears throat> that's the, that's the steam coming out of the volcano. I'm gonna go down there. I don't know if you can actually see anything but the craters down there. And this is our view from up here. Down the bay, this is the Naples area. And then down over there, that little mountain. It would have all been connected with this side and it would have been much taller. And when the volcano went off, that uh, destroyed Herculaneum and Pompeii. It basically blew the top of the volcano right off and there's just a pillar of rock and lava stuff and ash and all kinds of crazy stuff. But uh, now we're up here and uh, air's thin. My lungs are screaming at me. But uh, we, I think we made it to the top so we're going to keep going. We made it. There's our view from the top. Now I'm gonna take you over to see the crater. Hooray! Hold on, we're almost there. Oh, oh. Okay, wait. Okay, ready? Here it is. And go. And then there's a don't climb over the fence because you know you don't want to die. <clears throat> and the crater's down. I wasn't going to climb over. I don't feel like falling down there and having to <laughs> climb myself back out. And there's a sign over there. It's really funny right there. It says, um, uh, what's the sign say? Don't be a barbarian? Don't be a uh, civil. Uh, don't. Running away. Somewhere. It's gonna Just tell me what the sign says. No. No, not that one. The one up there. Ooh, ooh, yeah. It says don't, uh, don't be a barbarian. Civilized gas recycle. Be civilized. Recycle. Yeah. That's, I think that's what we learned here. Don't climb over. <clears throat> be civilized. Dr. Brooke would really like that. Civilized and barbaric. Yeah. That would be a good one. Now, there's the Isle of Capri. You, you can sort of see it down over there. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, crazy history. But anyway, I'm gonna go sit down and just like relax and maybe die a little bit. I don't know. Might have to like throw up one of my lungs. Good, I need to start. That's what it is. So that happened. And now the guys are changing the tire. We're in the cave of the Sybil who was a um, prophetic kind of hag type of lady. Um, random stuff. Um, this is an area where someone would come and bring questions to the Sybil and she would write them on a leaf, throw it in the wind, and then interpret the answer for the person. Uh, interesting cave though. It's kind of a weirdo shape. But, uh, it's really dark. We're everybody. And there's like, multiple little, like, cutout things. And now it's really dark. So I'll see you outside when they, there's a necropolis up there that we're on the necropolis. There's a building up there. But that's not, like, the, the big top of the necropolis. But, oh my goodness, this is great. Look at this view. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. And we got other people that are not us. So 
that's now awkward, but oh, look at the view. And this would have gone down to, would have gone down to the arch. We saw below, but I didn't video record that. Uh, the arch was built by Domitian and went along the Roman road, which you still go over when you go through the arch, up to this place, which is the Acropolis now that we're at. That's called as the city called Kume, uh, and that's down below is where the civil oracle, civil lady, whatever she is, uh, would have been. So, <sighs> top of the Acropolis here. Uh, it's a cult to Apollo. Uh, Apollo and uh, Artemis were the twins. Unless you're in the Roman world, then it's Apollo and Diana. So here, cult of Apollo is kind of over this way, and I'll show you a little bit more over there because you can't see much. But on his little complex, they also had a temple to Diana. And this is hers. Some ruins there. It actually kind of goes down that way to the left. Um, but there's really nothing to see over there. It's just kind of a in-ground square box that has nothing in it, so that's boring. Here's like a thing of the complex. Diana's, this is her temple. There's a random thing. I don't know what would have been there. And then his temple and some other stuff on the Acropolis. Um, here's his temple right here. Once we get into the sun and you're all blinded and I'm blinded right now. Uh, there. I'm going to try to use my hand a little bit. So that's his temple. And then the round thing is over here. And they're just kind of chilling on it. Um, Apollo is associated with prophecy stuff. Um, so oracles usually were somehow associated with Apollo or Zeus or some such thing. And so the Sybil being here in this kind of area, it kind of makes sense because the prophecy always came from him for some reason. So there's the, uh, there's the temple. And I'm just going to move this way. You can see the side of it. So it just kind of kind of goes on there, and you got it. There you go. It's really not helpful having the sun in everybody's face. And hello. Hi. She's lovely. We love her. She's our lucky Italian. I don't. I don't. And today I'm having a bad lucky day though, because what happened? Our tire. Yeah. Blew out. It didn't blow yeah, out. It else. just kind of. Tire went down, stuff's closed. Oh yeah, that too. No, no one slept well on the ferry. It was really bad last night, so everyone's kind of like falling asleep. It's great. Apparently the temple was turned into a church at some point. You can see the inside wall stuff. And there's the round thingy. And the diagram, I don't know what that is. Could be a well for all I know. That's <laughs> the chatting area. But uh, we're heading down. We're trying to be efficient with time to get to the next site because of the tire thing earlier. So we are off, and I'll see you in at the next site. They left us behind. We're always left behind. We're always at the very end. Because the caboose of the train is the best. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we always are in the back. Choo choo. There's the front. You can't see them because of all the light, but they're they're right up there. They're up there. <sighs> so the Italian pop star band. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they got? I don't know. That's what I dubbed them to be. She she's dubbed them. We don't know who they, they are. They dressed either. really nice and like way too cool. So I'm dubbing them an Italian pop star band. Wannabes. I've got nothing to combat that, so I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> in an amphitheater. I actually went up, and I should probably go up again and show you. Hey. But now we are, that was Haley, we're in the amphitheater underneath it. And this is what it looks like underneath. There are rooms and more rooms and hallways and more rooms. And you can't see anything there. Upstairs. Up there is where the, uh, and the ground is for the theater. They've got holes kind of everywhere. And it just keeps going on. And a giant circle. And into the big open one. Ground it! Right there. That's, that's the ground up there. And, and Jana.
chilling on a pillar. And the guys are up there. I don't know if you can actually see them, but they're up there. And here we go again into the other side. Hey, see, there's just even more places to go. Oh my goodness. So many more. So many more. This is the amphitheater from inside. Do, do, do. Reconstruction. And what else? Oh, bright lights, bright lights. Oh, okay. Over, over. The great we saw from inside and stadium stuff. All the way up. Little holes there where people come up, I guess, and take their seats. But it's all the way around in a big giant circle. Hey, Lee. Where haven't we been? We've been walking around looking at stuff. Where you been? We're all looking around, just looking at stuff. Um, but now you know what the amphitheater looks like and downstairs. Volcano vents. Um, I guess they used it for healing stuff here. You can see the sulfur stuff coming out, out of the ground and out of the building. People actually went into that stuff. Oh, it smells terrible. You can see it somewhere there. And there's some smells like death wrapped in rotten boiled eggs with I, I don't even know the tears of the tortured or something it was so bad <gasps> no it's still bad it's still so bad I found some random little thing I guess it's got a little bit of steam coming out and they're standing there and they say it's warm but it smells so bad I just everyone better take a shower tonight everyone will take a shower tonight this is so on top of it smelling like dirty socks with everything else that I threw at you a minute ago this is really cool um, I mean come on look at this stuff it's billowing billowing nasty smelling smoke across the ground no, it's not over there you can see it over there but the lights in the way but I mean like so much they have like sitting areas, I don't even, it's just, oh God. But this smells so bad. Oh God, ugh. You be really glad you only have to see this and you don't have to smell it because it's like, ugh. This is torture. I mean, it's cool. But it's, it's torturous. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Look at this business. Cool as that. Pretty cool. It's cool, but it's nasty as I'll get out. Yeah. That's what that is. Tell us about your experience. I, I can't breathe, you know. It's, it's, it's horrible. It smells like rotten eggs. That's what I think. See? Inside scoop. Someone who went in and tried it. I think they're all crazy, but I guess they had fun with it. Um, yikes. It stinks. It stinks real bad. Yeah. I, I told them it's like dirty socks and um, it's Definitely like... Definitely eggs. Death wrapped inside rotten uh, eggs. Mine and Haley's shoes and socks wrapped yeah. up in eggs in a small container. I with the tears of the bad. tortured. Yeah, they were really bad. <laughs> with the tears of the tortured. And I don't need, uh, ugh. Look at me. I think I got that in my mouth. That's so nasty. Ew. Yeah, that's right. Cover right. your mouth. No. Oh. Oh, I think we're all going to have to do this. I'm not looking forward to that at all. No. Uh, but hey, look. Attention. Oh, you can't. Let's see. Yeah. High temperature. It's going to be hot. Burning danger. Stay clear of it. Don't climb up the slope. Get putting shadows on it. You know, because that's not what we're going to do. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. We're just going to stand here, smile, and pretend like it doesn't smell like death. <laughs> here, it does. Don't believe them. It smells like death. So, I'm going to let you. We're just going to show you this and then say goodbye. That's nasty. 
Coming out of the ground like everywhere. Downwind side. Right there. Okay. Uh, oh god. Go back. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna. I'm gonna go do stuff and take pictures and. Yeah. So, we came to see this gate, tunnel, thing, um, Van is currently still running with the girl, and in fact they're running down the footpath down over there that we thought would be closed and he'd have to stop, and apparently they're still going to keep running, so Dr. Browning and the twins went to go see whereabouts they might be. But you know, from a girl's opinion and point of view, that's really creepy if a stranger, random man gets out of a van and starts running with you. And then the that van follows. And then the van follows. It means rape. Get your freaking pepper spray, spray ready <laughs> and your freaking rape whistle ready because that means danger in our country. In <laughs> most countries whistle. it does. Danger, danger, motherfucking danger. Stranger, danger, stranger, 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 danger. And it was even worse because she already been running so she's already and we followed yeah. her. That makes it even more. Yeah. With our cameras. Yes. <laughs> with our cameras <laughs> video. And, and cameras. <laughs> A van was following a her white while this van. creepy guy. A white, a white van. van, a big white van following was following her. <laughs> She's probably gonna go home and tell her dad. Uh, <laughs> oh, this guy like, can't it was creepy. Go to America. <laughs> They're creepy there. Yeah. Nice view across the lake. Oh, and he's still running Browning, with her. Come to a revelation. No. Well, I think I might have seen him. If, Browning, wait, wait, wait. I'm assuming that we're going to go back around and we're going to meet them on the other side where we started out and he started running with her. And but that's just my guess. How do you guys feel about this? About what? Your brother's still running. He's got I wish, balls yeah, I wish I had the balls, honestly. That's all I have to say. Men are strange. Women are like, either he's going to... They're gonna grab you and rape you, yeah, or number two, this is like a dare, and that's not funny. That's kind of jerk move. Like two seconds. But bad idea. Well, how'd that go? Go. Good. Good. Making friends all over this country. Also, 